Hey guys, how's it going, Companion? So this week's Tavern Brawl didn't quite get my hands on it on the first day, and uh, it's an experience I usually try to hit up every week, but I was in San Francisco doing the Blizzard event, so uh, it wasn't quite something I could do. I experienced like day three of the Tavern Brawl, which is kind of a big difference because as the days progress, well, people kind of know what's good and what isn't, and they generally play what's good. The people who are still playing by that day usually just want to beat up and bully all the other people. Um, so it was a lot of that, but uh, I still had a very interesting experience. This week's Tavern Brawl was, uh, I believe, Heart of the Sun or something like that, where essentially just everyone starts the game at 10 mana, and going first at 10 mana is generally a pretty big bonus, uh, and, well, it's kind of a lot of fun. Uh, the week before, people on stream actually asked me, you know, what I would do for a Tavern Brawl, and I suggested, well, why don't we just start at 10 mana? And then next week we did start at 10 mana in the Tavern Brawl, so that was a bit interesting. Uh, but I have to say that, uh, yeah, it wasn't really like the best idea ever. It's just kind of cool. I thought it was awesome. And I think it was um, much better than a lot of people who just tried it for a few games had realized. So, you know, when you first tackle the challenge like this, you'd be like, yeah, okay, well, I can play big stuff right away. So I'm going to put just a lot of big stuff in my deck. Big stuff, big stuff, big stuff, and then blah. Well, that strategy is okay, but, you know, it's much more complex than that. Like, if you have that strategy and you go second, you basically always lose because your opponent's probably doing the same thing. So, you know, some strategy on one end, people started to refine their decks a little bit from just the big stuff game into playing decently big stuff with removal or with smaller stuff that makes a difference. Um, so, for instance, if you want to play, like, uh, if you go second, it's okay to go second, but only if you have, like, Shadow War Death and Doctor Room, or equivalents of the two, like maybe Big Game Hunter instead of Shadow War Death, maybe just another big dude instead of Doctor Room. But you get the idea. You kind of want to out-tempo, you want to be slightly faster than the slow decks. And uh, with that strategy, uh, with a few days into the Tavern Brawl, people started realizing that, okay, you gotta play Priest. Priest is a pretty good class. Uh, Priest is a pretty good class because if you go second, they spend their whole turn playing something. Well, you can mind control just that something as it's as if you killed it and played it yourself, which is clearly better than just playing it yourself. So uh, that makes Priest really good. Priest also has the filler cards like Shadow War Death. Also, Resurrect is a really interesting one where uh, you can just revive one of the one of the cards that previously died in the game alongside playing another really big threat. Um, a lot of these uh, a lot of these decks actually run out of cards because you're not really you don't really clutter your hand with uh, just two high cost minions. So even if you have like just really high cost deck. You are going to run out of cards, um, so cards like Thought Steel are really good. So basically, in that big stuff type of game, Priest is kind of unmatched. Um, and well, as a result, everybody's playing Priest, except for a few people. Those few people are playing Rogue, because with Rogue, you just have an unbelievable amount of draw, and you are not forced into um, you know just playing big stuff. You can just play a lot of stuff, and it mostly has to do with uh, Gads and Auctioneer. Uh, you can stealth them, you can just cast basically your whole deck, you can just do a lot of damage, and you just draw your whole deck, basically, and you out-tempo your opponent. And uh, a lot of people were playing about the same deck, but I thought it still wasn't that good. I think there are some cards that plays against the big stuff dudes that really makes it work anyway. And... I shifted this concept to Shaman. Shaman is also a class that can function off of Gads and Auctioneer, and also has surprisingly amazing and unbelievable high damage combos with, um, you know, just charge creatures, buffs, and like Wind Fury and stuff. So there's a few cards that I think exist in both of these Miracle-ish type of decks uh, that people really kind of overlooked. And I think it's interesting to mention uh, on one end, you know, maybe you get a little bit smarter uh, when the next Tavern Brawl comes around, or maybe they just have this Tavern Brawl again. Um, out of all the Tavern Brawls that I played, I think I had the highest win rate in this one, despite the fact that I started playing on like day two or three where everyone else really knew what they were doing, and I didn't. And it was because, well, I can play Miracle decks pretty well because I've played Hearthstone for a long time, I guess, and Miracle decks were actually the best thing this week, even though most people hadn't realized it. Um, in the Miracle decks, you want to be playing Cold Light Oracle, because if you're playing against like a priest or something, he's, he's playing a slow game, you know? He's doing like one big creature, maybe a removal. 
Another big creature, maybe another removal. Another big creature, maybe top steal. You know, that's that's the type of game he's playing. So if you give him two cards, it doesn't matter. Just whatever. He's not gonna be playing until like turn six. Turn six, he's gonna he's gonna be dead. So it's not a big deal. Uh, you play Kole Oracle to kind of power draw into your card combos or just basically auctioneer, I guess, in most cases. Um, and another card that's really good is Arcane Golem. Arcane Golem doesn't actually give your opponent Mana Crystal because he starts at 10. So yeah, you can't really have more than that. So that's pretty nice. It's three mana for basically a Huffer. Actually a Huffer if you don't have any beast synergy. So you play this guy, you can give him Wind Fury, you can buff him up with whatever if you want. Um, you use this as like your base go-to damage, and the rest of your deck is just basically com complete draw and combo. And uh, it's a lot of fun! Uh, much more so than I had anticipated. People kind of uh, downplayed this Town Ball. It's like, yeah, Crypto, while they're playing it, it sucks, whatever, whatever. It didn't suck. Uh, and I have some games to show you guys to really prove this fact. Um, maybe if there's some time left, you guys want to check out the Tavern Brawl, um, maybe in a similar way that I did with the Miracoli. Uh, but if not, maybe the next time it comes around, you get a chance. So, hope you guys enjoy my games. Hope you guys enjoy Brawl as a whole, because it's certainly getting better in my eyes. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's Shiv. That's fine. I don't think it gets to stay alive. Oh. Guess I'm retiring from Hertz then, because that's about as fair as I've ever seen a game be. Pack earned! I earned that? <laughs> I'll just keep this. It's a higher chance to get an auctioneer. Oh, there it is. Beast Insights, check mark. I wonder if he has any kind of board clear. Hmm. There's a good chance he doesn't, actually. Wow. It's an interesting card.
fair. Well played. You win. Rip. Same idea. Coil Oracle's better than just keeping. Or just throwing back a card because I can draw two. Which is really nice. I just want to auction you right now. Conceal, conceal. Um, I could actually do a lot of damage and conceal my board, so I think I'm going to do that. Like, if I draw Auctioneer, I'm still going to draw my whole deck, so it doesn't matter. But with this, I set up a possible win condition. I bring life and oh, that sucks. Tide's not not really worth keeping. Hex might be the just the stall. Actually, yeah, let's just keep Mantide and Hex just for like power stall. Because we go first, we can just drop the Mana Tide. All right, what do we got here? We got the Auctioneer and that. All right, I'm game here. Okay, the priest needs to kill the auctioneer here or he's gonna lose. I bring I've seen that add a shitload of times, by the way. So. Uh, okay. Ancestral spirit there. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. We can attack there. Can reincarnate, so we have two of them now. Everyone's got the best deals anywhere now. You guys are saying this deck sucks, by the way. I am not so sure that it does. I think it might be okay. I actually don't know how this guy's gonna live through next turn. This dude's probably super pissed right now. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't know how much damage I have, but it has to be way more than 23 life. That measly amount. Like... Gotta get this last rock biter. Let's do it. Damn. Oh well. I guess we'll settle. 
Hex? Are you serious? A Warlock? What the hell? That's the first one, isn't it? Wow, this is so nice. It's too bad I went first. You really want to go second with a hand like this. You want to get that coin. Um, I can't play the auction. I have to, like, mass up some spells. So we're going to have to mana tide. And maybe play some other kind of draw if we get it. First impression of the uh, Grand Crusade, the Grand Tournament. Uh, Grand Tournament is pretty cool. I really like that Blizzard is pushing for new game styles so much recently. Because I've been like voicing that opinion forever. And if it sucks, then oh, I guess that is wrong, right? Let's don't kill my mana tide. Oh, that's kind of not cool as well, but... Yeah, fine. I got the best deals anywhere. Job done. Yeah, it's kind of a bad idea just to silence it. We had to deal with uh, the full body. You might do like a twisting another player or something here. Siphon soul. Okay. God, I don't know what to do with that. But we do have a lot of cards. Voltron deck. I, yeah, I don't know. Is he tapping? Did I just win the game? over here. Rockbiter. Crackle. Get move. Easy peasy. 